Hey, buddy. Oh, I don't want to hide my information right there. Can you look at the camera? There you go. Yeah. Hey, maniacs. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm introducing a lot of you guys to my cat, Church. Uh, he's a big un. He's a big boy. He, he really is probably the fattest cat we have. He doesn't really want to be held right now. He wants to jump down, but I want to show him off to you guys really quick because I, I don't talk about Church too often. And he was literally scratching at my door a second ago. And I'm like, well, if you're coming in, I'm going to introduce you and make a quick video. But I've, I love this guy. I love this guy so much. Now, one of the reasons why you don't see him in a lot of videos is because Church is a menace to society. Look at him right now. He is plan. He knows. He is planning revenge right now. I named him after the cat from Pet Cemetery, One of my favorite movies of all time. Massive Stephen King fan. Always wanted a St. Bernard named Cujo, as a matter of fact. But I... Always wanted a great cat named Church, and he, God, he is just so, he's a menace. I, I probably, you know what, I'm gonna let him go. Oh my God, that was intense. Okay, so yeah, I've, I've had Church for a long time. Probably about four years ago, my friend's uh, wife, Samantha, said, hey, we got a group, of, we got a bunch of cats, and they know I've been looking for a little gray kitten. And they were like, hey, we got one, do you want it? And I immediately said, yeah, fuck it. My, we already had like four cats in the house, as was. And I just, I just thought, dude, fuck it. I'm just going to get the cat because I'll take care of it. It's my cat. I don't, they don't have to worry about it. I'll take care of it. And, of course, they let me. He was adorable. He was absolutely adorable. I don't got that many pictures, unfortunately, of Church when he was a little little baby kitten. So what I have is what we'll do. But, yeah, man, I, I've always wanted a cat named Church after that movie because that movie genuinely is, like, most terrifying film I've ever seen. I'm wanting to post more content with Church, but I really don't know where to go with it. I don't know how I would present it. So if anybody here wants to see more content with Church, Church? He, he honest to God, don't care. He just truly does not care. He's, like, right over here. He's under my desk. Hey. Church. Hey, buddy. He, he just called me boring, low key. Okay, he's not, he's not doing that right now. That's not far off, actually, where I had it. Uh, it might be a little bit off. That's not too bad, hey. All right, uh, but yeah, guys, that was my cat, Church. He's kind of a menace to society. Yeah, of course, not a lot of you guys get to see him because normally when he's in the room, he likes to do the things like jumping on the desk, knocking stuff over. He does this stuff to get my attention. He knows it's going to irritate me. He knows it's going to bother me because he jumps on the keyboard, starts messing with the key uh, keyboard, jumps on my fucking monitor. He, he does that stuff because he wants attention, and that's why I just don't have him in my room most of the time is because, yeah, he'll fuck something up. Just running around and knocking shit over like my $700 mask. Now he rubs up against... Now he knows, right? He knows. He'll rub up against this mask. That's why the plastic is, like, all over him right now, and he doesn't have any space to breathe, but because he was rubbing his little face all over the mask and almost knocking it off that bar stool I have it sitting on. But you understand, if you have an animal, you understand how big of a, a pest they can be. Let's be real, they can be pests. And he also, what he loves to do too, is when I'm laying in, like, on my futon, because I have a futon at the moment, I'm laying on my futon, he'll run up and just lay down and grab my arm and start biting it while I'm in the middle of me sleeping. But, yeah, I thought I would introduce him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a little butterball. He's, like, he's fat. When he runs, I mean, he's a chunky little dude. I mean, his stomach is way big. It's when you see him straight forward, his stomach is like a big circle around his head. I mean, it's pretty freaking hilarious watching him go up and down the stairs. 